Hi, what's up guys? Um, so I've had a few people ask me over on my Instagram page uh, how I prepare my label cast pen blanks. So today I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on how I do that. Um, I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it or the right way. This is just how I do it and I get pretty good results. So I'll get started. So today I'm going to be doing two label blanks for the Sierra tube. Uh, it's a pretty common tube. It fits the Gatsby, the Viceroy here, the Sahara, and I'm not sure what else. Uh, I like it. It's an easy blank to turn, just a single tube. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get some uh, vinyl printer paper. You can get it in matte or glossy. It's relatively cheap. It's about $10 for uh, maybe 10 sheets, 20 sheets. I'll put an Amazon link to uh, the ones that I use. Um, once you have your paper, you have to have your image ready. So either create an image, find an image you want to use. Obviously, if you're going to be uh, selling your pens, you can't use copyright images. Um, but if you're going to be making them and just giving them away or posting them, that's fine. Uh, so to start off with an image, you want to have ideally a higher resolution image so that when you shrink it, the quality stays good. Um, and I've found that if you can find an image that is already a rectangle, they typically size down better and don't distort too much. Uh, I just copy and paste my images right into Microsoft Word. And then I go into the formatting screen and I sized the length to 2.27 inches and the width to 1.33 inches. Now this is slightly oversized relative to the tube. And I do that to uh, ensure that I get most of the image on there and anything that's left over, I just trim off. Um, that's the easiest way I've found to do it. Um, also, it might be hard to see, but I do put a very small black border around the image. And on the pen here, you'll see that right there. Um, it doesn't stand out too much. Most of it is covered by the uh, the clip on the pen. And I do that so that uh, there's no weird looking overlaps on the images. And it also acts as a guide when I'm cutting, which is what we're gonna do next. So <clears throat> I've tried many different methods. Um, they have little acrylic square cutouts that you can place over the image and trace around. Um, I don't like doing that. I, I used to use it in the past and it didn't work too well for me. So I just take a ruler, metal straight edge. The first thing I do is line it up so that I can barely see that black border. And you want to make sure you're using a, a fresh blade on an X-Acto knife. And once I have that anchored down with my left hand, I just start above it and I apply light pressure and I follow it down. And I do that on all four edges. So I'll go ahead and do that on two of these and then I'll get into the next step.
All right, so I made four cuts along the border. Uh, now I should be able to peel these off pretty easy. Uh, what I have here is a, uh, a tube rolling jig. I bought this from P-Town Subby. Uh, he sells a lot of, or they sell a lot of good uh, pen casting materials and supplies. So I'll take this, I'll grab my tube. <coughs> Also, when doing this, it's a good idea to take some, or some alcohol and just wipe down your tubes a little bit. I think they, uh, they use a grease when they're cutting these, and that can prevent some of the adhesion from the, the backing of the vinyl. So just a quick wipe down on both of them. those dry I've got a little stand here that I put them on after I apply the label so it's already dry it's already dry so now I'll peel off one of the images So here's my image. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it face down on this tube rolling jig. Hold it into the corner. Take my tube. I'm going to corner it. I'm going to butt it up against one edge and then I'm going to back off about a millimeter. Then I'm going to drop it down. Make sure it looks level. Then I'll roll it forward. I'll roll this back edge up against the jig, and then I just roll it up. So now I have it nice and snug on the tube. I'll go ahead and do the other tube and I'll get into the next step. So now that we have the labels on the tube, you'll notice that there is some overhang. So what I'm going to do is just trim that off with the X-Acto knife. You also may find that uh, you can see some white on the tube. Uh, so if that happens, what you can do is, is you can just sort of back it off a little bit. And you can go over that with the Sharpie. But I'm not going to do that. Because, again, most of that border is going to be covered up by the pen clip. So, depending on what type of resin you're using, uh, it can cause an, uh, a, a heating effect and that can cause the adhesive to pull up for whatever reason. Let me see if I have an example. So right here, I have an example of that. Um, when this tube went in, everything was flush. And then whatever happened during the carrying process, it caused those edges to lift up. 
So to fix that, I have some UV resin here, UV flashlight. And what I do is just simply go over the border with some UV resin with a paintbrush and I cure it. And I've had great results with, uh, with that method. Uh, I've tried in the past Mod Podge, super glue, uh, a heat gun and burnishing and those all had some failures uh, so I wasn't happy with it and uh, you don't have to do this part but there is a chance that that vinyl backing might raise up so I just do this with every pen now as a precaution so go ahead make sure everything is down there tight jig then take some of my UV resin you do not need a lot of this and I'll simply paint it on So after you have your label on the blank, you'll see that there's some overhang from the tube. Again, that's because it's slightly oversized. So for that, we're just going to trim it off with the X-Acto knife. Um, when doing this, you want to go uh, with, with the direction that the tube was rolled. So if the label is sticking out this way, you want to go this way with the knife. Uh, so I just sort of find a good spot and I'm sort of doing a light sawing motion flush with the edge of that tube. Take your time with this. So we've got both of those trimmed up. Now you can see the label was flush with the tube. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this um, over overlap with some UV resin. And the reason I do that is because sometimes when the resin is curing and it heats up, it can cause that seal to break. And here's an example of that right here. Uh, this happens very rarely, but uh, it's a chance that I don't like to take. So that's why I've started using the UV resin to seal it. So this is the resin I use, pretty cheap off of Amazon. Uh, put a little dab right here. I take a little paintbrush from the dollar store. I get a little bit on there. Place the tube down. And I 
and just apply a little bit to ensure a good seal. So here you can see uh, I've got a nice little layer of UV resin on there. Uh, I'm going to be casting this in clear resin. So once that casts, you won't, you won't even be able to see that that's there. Got them both ready. Now I'm just going to put them in a tube in casting jig. It's from Hobbycast. Got it off Amazon, it's pretty cheap. And I'm going to be using aluminite, aluminite resin. So I'll go ahead and prep these up, put them in the pressure pot, and then we'll see how they turn out. some rice in the bottom of my pressure pot just so I can always make sure things are level because the bottom is concave. Right, so I just get in there, make sure nothing's going to spill over. All right, so it's been about eight hours. Uh, these blanks are cured. Nice and clear, no bubbles. I put some pigment powder in with this one. So that's it.